Hello friends, my name is Bintu and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you have all had a happy, healthy and safe new year and happy new year actually to all of you. And welcome to my first video of 2022 where I talk about the last couple books that I've read in 2021. This is my December wrap up. So I actually didn't end up reading very many books in December. Uh, my December got cut a little bit short in the middle of the month there, but I did pick up one book that is definitely making my top book of the year. And if you watch my reading vlog, that's actually when I first picked up this book and that is Will by Will Smith. So here's the cover. It's such a beautiful book too. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on this entirely, but um, this book cover is just so eye catching and it, it feels so Will Smith. Um, the colors in particular are super bright and this was just an excellent book. So like I said, I actually have a hard copy version of this book because I had this Amazon books promotion where um, I think I had $15 off in store. So I paid like four bucks for this hardcover. Um, but I did go on Audible and then get the audiobook for this. And the audiobook was really, really good. I strongly, strongly encourage uh, if you can get the audiobook for this, definitely do it. It was worth reading this with the audiobook companion. And of course, the audiobook itself is narrated by Will Smith. Um, and it's one of those audiobooks that isn't just straight audiobook. He does, there's like music in there. He sings in the audiobook. He raps in that audiobook. Um, it's just super good to hear his story in his own voice. And Will, I mean, he's an entertainer, he's an actor, so the audiobook is just so well done. But anyway, onto the actual contents of the book. So this feels, I mean, it's a memoir, it's a very personal book, and it, it just details his life. So it talks about his young childhood, his upbringing, his upbringing in West Philadelphia, um, living with his mom and dad. There was some domestic violence that was in the family. And honestly, I don't know much about Will Smith's personal stuff. Um, I've watched many of his movies, but I actually don't follow his personal life that closely. So a lot of this was news to me. Overall, I didn't know that he actually grew up generally in like a middle class neighborhood. Um, and his parents are pretty well educated. His mom was a professor of some sort. Um, and so education was very strongly encouraged and, and sort of revered in his home. Uh, but then again, the book goes into his rap career, his acting career. Um, so Fresh Prince, obviously big, big deal that kind of catapulted him to fame. And in his movies, Independence Day, I'm Legend, The Pursuit of Happiness, all of these movies I've seen and loved, they're just really well done. But he also talks about his personal life, his marriages, his children, and, and all those struggles. I feel like he actually does a very good job of being very vulnerable in this book. And that's what makes this book so enjoyable to read. I feel like like uh, even though you're reading about his life, you can kind of take away some important life lessons that he's pretty much trying to impart on you as the reader based on the way he's like dissecting his own life and talking about his regrets and, and things like that. Overall, this is a definite five star read, definitely comes highly recommended. It's very well written and it's funny and easy to read. Like it's a bit long, it's on the longer side, uh, close to four, it's over 400 pages. So it is a bit long, but the time flies by. Again, especially if you have that audiobook. Will Smith is just a really great storyteller. All right, so that is Will by Will Smith. I think it's very clear that I really love that one. Um, but besides that, I actually only read like two or three other books this month. So another book that I read this month was Martha Wells' All Systems Red, which is the first book of the Mur Murder Bot Diaries. So the reason that I picked this book up is two main reasons. I once had someone recommend it in my comment section, and then I think I kind of put it off, but then a friend, like a personal friend, also recommended it to me. Um, and I thought I had nothing to lose because it's super short and the audiobook was um, available immediately from my library. So I just downloaded that and listened to the audiobook while I was doing household chores. I think it was, it took me like an hour to listen to it because I listened at about 2x speed. So this is a sci-fi novella and novella's pretty accurate. Like this is it's very short um, and it's definitely sci-fi. So it's called Murder Bot Diaries and I think that's very accurate. It feels like you're reading the diary of this murder bot. And this murder bot, he's like a robot, but he has organic parts. And by organic parts, I assume they're talking about like he has these human uh, features as well. And this book goes through a lot of his like inner dialogue, his inner thoughts as he's on this uh, mission with a bunch of humans that he's kind of charged to protect. It's somewhat entertaining because this murder bot just wants to be left alone. Like he just wants to watch these soap operas in his like system all by himself. So he like, he basically is the worst worker possible and that he does the bare minimum and then goes back to watching his soap operas. But he actually begins to like the humans that he's currently working for. And then something happens where they need to work together to uh, figure out who's like working against them, etc. And he wants to actually help and save these humans. This was definitely an unusual read for me. It's unlike anything that I normally read. Uh, I was willing to give it a shot again. It was super short. Um, 
And I thought it was okay. I'm not sure that I would actually continue with this series um, unless I really just needed to kill time with an hour long audio book. Yeah, it, it was just okay for me. Not my favorite of the sci-fi that I read this year. All right, and then the last two books that I read, I'll keep short, these are both romances. The first one is The Love Hypothesis. And I actually talked about The Love Hypothesis in my last video, which was a reading vlog where I read this book. I have to say, I've actually watched a lot more videos uh, or other YouTubers talking about this book in the time that I've read it. And it seems like people either really love this book or they really hate it. Um, I don't know that I feel that strongly about it either way. Like I didn't really hate it. I mostly liked it. Um, you know, I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was enjoyable. Um, apparently it's some sort of fan fiction. I don't know what that's about to be honest, but this book is a fake dating trope that's set in an academic setting. So the uh, student is a PhD student and then, or, or the girl is a PhD student and then the male protagonist is a like tenured professor faculty and they start fake dating because the girl wants to convince her best friend that she's not into her ex who her best friend is into and the professor wants to show the university that he's not like a flight risk so getting a girlfriend would prove that um, i think one of the things that people have or one of the problems that people have with this is that it is unrealistic and i totally agree this is super unrealistic uh it's very rare really um inappropriate that you're gonna walk into an academic setting and see a PhD student dating a tenured professor. Yeah, no, it, and the premise doesn't technically make sense, uh, but I'm not one to take these things too seriously, especially in a romance novel. Um, I just read them for fun. I don't expect them to be super realistic. Uh, they're usually not. But overall, I'll say you can put me in a category of people that generally liked this book. Um, and would I continue to read from this artist? I probably would. I think she's coming out with another book and I'll pick it up. I thought it was a pretty enjoyable read, especially with the audiobook. It goes by pretty quickly. Um, although this is more of a slow drawn. And then the final book that I read this month was, or in the month of December, was To Love Jason Thorne. And I picked this up because it was on Kindle Unlimited and I just figured why not? It seems to be pretty highly rated. Uh, this is one that I kind of have to go against the grain on because I don't think it was really... I don't think it met the rating that it was receiving on Kindle Unlimited. So really quick synopsis, Jason Thorne, he's like this movie star um, and the girl that he, so his family like abandoned him and he went to live with his neighbors and the neighbors had a daughter and she had like a huge crush on him. And then fast forwards to when they're adults and the daughter's written like this, or, or the girl's written this romance book and it's being turned into a movie and Jason is being cast for that role. And then they begin to develop a romance. He was not aware that she had such strong feelings toward him, uh, blah, blah, blah. I just found the writing to be not great in this one. It felt too simple, like to the point where it was kind of insulting in a way as a, like a, an adult reader. I finished it by listening to the audiobook. So I finished it off an audiobook. I couldn't keep reading it physically with the audiobook. Again, because the writing really just wasn't that great to me. And I would not pick up another book by this author if it was similar to this. All right, that is the end of my December wrap up. Actually, I wasn't filming this. It's like, it's January 10th. Um, and I have not read a single book yet so far in January. So I need to like set up my goals and then get back into reading. To be honest, actually, it's because of Netflix. I was watching The Witcher and I already finished all of season two of The Witcher. Um, also, I have been watching Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime. I never read the Wheel of Time books. Um, I know that they're like these massive epic fantasy books and they're kind of heralded as some of the best fantasy of all time. I am liking the show. I hear that it, it deviates quite a bit from the book. And I mean, I think any book to show, book to movie adaptation, like there's always gonna be people that are up in arms about it. I don't know, maybe one day we'll pick up Wheel of Time because I, I'm enjoying the show. Uh, we'll see. In the meantime, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.